Are you ready for this? Yes. So yes, we're finally doing this. After moving to California uh, seven years ago with Claire, we met in uh, France. Um, my dream was always to drive up the coast and explore. The coast is so beautiful here that it was somewhat something that always attracted me. So let's go, let's go explore. We left Orange County, direction Morro Bay. We got there, it was gloomy, windy and cold. Claire was ready to go back into the van so we could go to Paso Robles and to Clusolén, our favorite winery. Clusolén is a very special winery founded by Guillaume for the love of his life, Solén. We were invited to a unique wine tasting experience and a private tour of the vineyard with Guillaume himself. Coming from a family of winemakers myself, I loved seeing how passionate Guillaume was about Clusolén, its soil types and grape varieties. The wines are honestly some of the best California wines I've ever had. They are elegant, with character and personality. Next time you're in Paso, this winery is definitely a must. After leaving Closolene, we drove through Paso, got to our first campsite of our trip. It was in the middle of the vineyards. We were all by ourselves. It was amazing. The skies were crazy beautiful. Set up the van, opened a, a bottle of Closolene, and enjoyed it with the cheese and charcuterie board. Watch the sunset, call it night. Okay, Claire. Day two? Day two. Okay, you ready to head out? Yes, let's go. We're going to we're Carmel. Going to, we're going to go through Carmel Valley today. And uh, Carmel by the Sea. Carmel by the Sea. And then we're going to go through Monterey. Then we're going to go all the way up to Santa Cruz. Yeah. We're going to spend the night on the beach. Yes. Okay, we're already late. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Bye, Paso. We arrived at Carmel by the Sea. It was uh, the first time visiting for both of us. And you have to go visit. It's an amazing, amazing place. I uh, wish we had more time to discover Carmel. Uh, A.W. Shucks. A.W. Shucks. And we're going to enjoy some beautiful oysters. We're so excited. Fresh off the oyster bar. All right, we were just in Carmel and got some coffee. And now we're going off the 17-mile drive. So the 17-mile drive is a gated community. So people actually live there. Uh, so you pay the fee at the entrance, at the gates. And then you have 17 stops and the views are just amazing. You have the road that is on the side of the cliffs, you go through beaches, the golf course, and the woods. There's so many stops. It's hard, hard, hard not to spend an entire day over there. Okay, so right before we head over to our campsite in New Brighton State Beach, we're gonna stop at Capitola. Claire saw this uh, little tiny village uh, while we were um, having lunch and she just wants to check it out. So a little detour here. We just got to Capitola Beach and I just parked this monster here. That I parked was it by myself. That not, was amazing. Not easy. I did such a good job of parking it. So like proud. Parallel parking. This is the cutest little house. We're in Capitola. The oldest beach town in California. I think we can rent those. And I think she's loving this fan life more and more. No, no. Look at her, she's natural. <laughs> like twisty, twiny roads. We're gonna make a left here, baby. Left? Yes, ma'am. Left, we're going all the way to Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, next stop, here you go. Okay, so we just arrived at uh, New Brighton State Beach here, just south of uh, Santa Cruz. Claire is getting ready, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, down the trail and catch the sunset.
Good night, Santa Cruz. Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. here in Santa Cruz, California. And this is day three, second night in the van. Uh, it was a little bit uh, cold yesterday night, so I put the heater on for the first time. It was really, really cold. It got down to like six, five, six degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, so yeah, it was, the, th thank God there's the heater in that van. So yeah, today we're gonna head out. Uh, I'm gonna wake up Clea, we're gonna pack up and we're going down south. So it's from Santa Cruz, we're gonna go all the way uh, down to uh, Big Sur. So we're gonna pass again, Carmel, Monterey, Monterey and then Carmel, and then head south. Can't wait to see the landscape. Clea is a little bit nervous about the drive because of the road, lots of turns, tight roads, uh, but yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, let's go. We're here in Big Sur. I mean, we haven't driven very far, but I just wanted to show you our first stop. miles of this for uh, two miles plush. of this for five for beach I hope I hope it's worth it it's a one-way oh, street oh, one-way street and there's a I can see a pickup truck on it's coming up we made it down this two mile stretch uh, it's a one uh, it's a one lane uh, street and it's full of bombs low-hanging trees and so you have to always be careful like to cars coming up uh, yeah we made it this truck this van is very low so I was always like Ugh, the bumps and the turns and everything but yeah we're down here at Pfeiffer Beach it's a two mile drive down uh, can't wait to go see uh, what Pfeiffer Beach is all about go to Partington Cove Trailhead. It's a little cove and you have a little walk and you go through a tunnel. So the start of the van is get out of here. Stop, last little stop on our big surge drive for the day. Uh, we're gonna head over next to our campground for the night. But look at this. I mean, you have the perspective, you have the rolling hills, uh, you have the road, you have the bridge. I'm just like amazed by the views that we had from this drive. A lot of turns, a lot of stop and go, and like little bumps and potholes, but this view is just stunning and the land the landscape is huge huge we don't have like landscapes so big in france so just the the, the size of these cliffs uh, the waves has just been amazing so yep here it is last stop of uh, the day and uh, can't wait to discover a campsite for the night Oh, there's a river that winds on forever 
I'm gonna see where it leads Oh, there's a mountain that no man is mounted I'm gonna stand on the peak Out there's a land that time don't command Wanna be the first you arrive this was the best campsite of the trip. We spent the night with the sound of the crashing waves. Woke up, definitely needed some coffee. We stopped at Ragged Point to soak in the views one last time before heading down to Orange County and go see our girls. Can't wait to uh, do this again. I think we're hooked on this van camper experience and definitely gonna do this with our two girls next time. You have to go see Big Sur, it's incredible.